The Old Testament gives us many of the parameters of the future Messiah. Uh, some say he's going to be a political king who's going to redeem Israel from the Romans or whatever other conquerors are maybe in charge of Israel. Uh, others are saying he's going to be more a religious figure uh, prophesying for the future and whatever else. And another, however, is the other view of the Messiah who's going to be the suffering servant who's going to die uh, for our sins. And so we see in Isaiah, uh, frankly, all three roles, but especially that of the suffering servant. And so when we find in chapter 53 of Isaiah, the tremendous predictions on what's going to happen to Jesus as they are literally fulfilled at Golgotha, at Calvary, on the day called Good Friday, we can see again how magnificently scriptures hold together in terms of the Old and New Testament. There's no other book in history which has this prophecy and fulfillment couplet in a library of books written over 14 centuries, which is, of course, what the Bible is. It's not one book, it's an anthology, it's a library of many different kinds of writing.